Hello everyone, and welcome to my introductory lesson about the tarot. With an open mind, one can discover their path towards their destiny or fate with this occult magic. There are many spreads and decks to suit your personality. If you're seeking alternative advice and cannot fully trust rational scientific recommendations, the tarot can shed light upon your issue. The standard deck includes 78 cards, each with their own meaning. Every card has their complex, carefully illustrated depiction of a particular circumstance, which will require separate lessons in their own right. But for the purposes of this video, I'll show you the fundamentals. The tarot has been around for centuries, and is generally believed the version as we know it today has its origins in Italy. The word itself is derived from Italian tarocchi, spelled T-A-R-O-C-C-H-I. It began as an entertaining way for groups, whether they were a circle of friends, family members, or partygoers, to learn what fate had in store for them. This so-called game, however, quickly grew into serious means of advice for kings and queens, and the results from readings were implemented into political and military policy. Today, the tarot serves as the quintessential tool for any psychic medium. Perhaps the most popular format is the Rider Waite deck, published in 1910. It's my personal particular choice for my own monthly readings. The tarot is divided into two major groups, the Major Arcana and the Minor Arcana. Let's explore these in greater detail. The major arcana is associated with events that are out of the querent's control. The universe is determining their circumstances for them. A querent is the person whom the reading is about. The major arcana has 22 cards, and I'll just list them off for you in order. They are the fool, the magician, the high priestess, the empress, the emperor, the hierophant, the Lovers, The Chariot, Strength, Justice, The Hermit, Wheel of Fortune, The Hanged Man, Death, Temperance, The Devil, The Tower, The Star, The Moon, The Sun, Judgment, and The World. The minor arcana is associated with everyday, earthly events the querent is in more direct contact with. Within the minor arcana are four subgroups, the suit of wands, suit of swords, suit of cups, and suit of pentacles. Let's explore each of these suits. The suit of wands represents the element of fire. They have to do with one's intuition, creativity, passion, and energy. Displayed are all the cards within this specific group. The suit of swords represents the element of air. They involve conflict, thought, communication, and intellect. Here are all the cards within this suit. The suit of cups symbolizes the element of water. These cards illustrate one's emotions, relationships, imagination and love. These are the cards in this particular group. Last but not least, the suit of pentacles represents the element of earth. They convey messages regarding finances, job opportunity, 
wealth, poverty, material status, success, and failure. These are all the cards within this group. Of course, one cannot see the big picture without a spread, and there are many to suit any circumstance. Whether they are small and to the point, or large and highly detailed, they will chronicle any reader's outcome. Here are some examples that can help guide you on your path. Tarot has the power to bring deep psychological growth to anyone with radical open-mindedness. It can bring great insight into one's reality and help let go of what no longer serves. I highly recommend anyone curious about this craft to be open to the truth. It may seem daunting at first, but it may just make a powerful difference in your life for the better. This video has just been an introduction. I'll be describing more about the cards in future videos. This is Sean saying, be open to the possibilities of truth. Namaste.